Now, over on the prep level, the defending girls volleyball state champions of Iwilani are off to a 1 0 start this season behind Hawaii's reigning state player of the year, Elena Ogilvie. But in the coming week, the Raiders will need to defend the throne without their queen of the court. As Ren Clayton explains, the outside hitter will be trading the red and black for red, white, and blue. I'll just be like walking around and people will be telling me congrats and I'm like, what for? Iolani's Elena Ogilvy might not know it, but everyone else does. You wouldn't really know that she's really good. You know, she doesn't walk around, hey, look at me, but she definitely walks around with a uh, quiet confidence. After a brand new national training experience in late July, Ogilvy was named to the U18 USA national team. <laughs> It's cool, especially in Hawaii. We're all a community, we're all family, so it's cool to just have so much support and so much love. My friends have all just been congratulations. My family is so happy for me. Her new team is playing in the World Championships in Egypt starting on September 5th. I'm so excited. It's my first time out of the country, so I'm really excited for that. Just a few weeks into the high school season, the defending state champion Raiders are young. Ogilvy will be key. Though odds are good, she'd be the MVP on any team in Hawaii. Ridiculously good. At least through my coaching time, um, I don't think I've seen a player quite at her caliber. Elite volleyball program Stanford came calling. This spring, Elena committed to play libero for the defending NCAA champions after a grueling academic application process. When I heard the news, it was such a big relief, even though I still have to work hard, but it was such a big relief. and. Just made me really excited to go play for Sanford. I think she's going to do some things after. You know, if she has a goal in mind to play professionally, I think that's a, a realistic opportunity. Huge potential and a matching approach. I don't ever want to be satisfied with where I'm at. I just want to keep growing and growing, and there's so much to be learned. I still have to play college volleyball and going to the world championships. I know I'm going to learn a lot from that. And just being in the USA pipeline and just learning different things, different techniques. I think that's going to help shape my game, too. And, yeah, I just, I don't ever want to be the same, like, every single day. Ren Clayton, KHON 2 News.